Hi, welcome back to Mr. Menta's ELL Classroom. Today we are starting Chapter 10. Chapter 10, we're going to talk more about the simple present tense. Those are things we do every day. Habits. Okay? And this chapter actually is one of the chapters I'm most sad to do over YouTube because it has great speaking exercises. So if you have someone to practice with in your house, like your brother or your sister or your parents, I want you to practice the speaking exercises with them, okay, the way we used to do in class, because these are very good exercises. To finish this lesson, you're going to need this, the first page of the chapter, page 87. You do not need to print that. Then this, the second page of the chapter, page 88. I want... I want you to go ahead and print this page. You are not going to write on it, but this is so important. You're going to look at this so much that if you have a printer at your house, I want you to print it so you can look at it. It will be helpful. And then you'll also need this page 89. You do not need to print this page. So that's page 87, 88. 89. So let's start out like we always do with some vocabulary. Okay? So our vocabulary preview. Starting out down here, some words that I really think you already know, but we are reviewing them. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The days of the week. We're going to use those a lot in this chapter. All right. Number eight, babysit. This is when you watch somebody's child for them when their parents are not home. Okay? That's babysitting. Nine, clean. You know clean. Ten, do yoga. Do yoga is very popular right now. It's like a form of very relaxing exercise. I've been doing yoga for years. I, I like it. If you've got a good teacher, like so many things in life, it depends on having a good teacher, doesn't it? Uh, Eleven, go dancing. Twelve, jog. Thirteen, play volleyball. Fourteen, ride. Fifteen, see a movie. Sixteen, see a play. So these are all old vocab words. We've worked with those before. Today, we're just going to be working on how we use them. So, let's go to page 88. So, this is one of the most complex and interesting exercises in this book. I like it a lot. I'm a little worried you might get confused at home. Um, so pay attention, listen carefully, and remember you can always read the top here, uh, assuming we don't have more technical problems. if you get confused. So, Stanley's International Restaurant. We have a restaurant owned by this guy, Stanley. Okay. And here we have some words in our blue boxes. He cooks. He doesn't cook. And I think we've gone over this before, but just in case we didn't, I'll zoom in. Okay. Doesn't is short for does not. It's an abbreviation just like don't. Don't and doesn't. Questions. Does he cook? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. What kind of food does he cook? Or when does he cook? And is this the first time we've used the word when? If it is, it's an important word. Who, what, where, when, why. Those are our big question words. And how. But that doesn't start with a W. The rest of them do. All right. So those seem pretty simple. But we are going to use them now to talk about what Stanley does and when he does it. 
Okay, so let's go over this together. So we have this picture. This is a very important picture. Make sure you understand it, okay? Stanley's International Restaurant is a very special place. Every day, Stanley cooks a different kind of food. Get that? We're at a restaurant. Every day, Stanley cooks a different kind of food. On Monday, he cooks Italian food. So over here, Monday, Italian. This is telling us what Stanley cooks each day. On Monday, Stanley cooks Italian food. Okay. On Tuesday, he cooks Greek food. Tuesday, Greek. On Wednesday, he cooks Chinese food. Wednesday, Chinese. On Thursday, he cooks Puerto Rican food. On Friday, he cooks Japanese food. On Saturday, he cooks Mexican food. And on Sunday, he cooks American food. Okay. So, this picture is going to be able to tell us what Stanley cooks and when he cooks it. Okay? Now, we're going to see an example now. Okay? People are talking. What kind of food does Stanley cook on Monday? On Monday, he cooks Italian food. What kind of food does Stanley cook on Monday? Here's Monday. On Monday, he cooks Italian food. Get it? So now, oh, uh, here we go. So now down here, it says, Ask and answer questions about the other days of the week. So, look at Tuesday. What kind of food does Stanley cook on Tuesdays? Okay? And you'll answer. On Tuesday, he cooks Greek food. Okay? And actually, you can say them plural or singular, um, because he does it every Tuesday. So, we're talking about, when we say on Monday, we mean every Monday. Okay? So, I'd say, stick with the singular, because that's what they practiced. But you could get away with the plural, plural if you wanted. That's not important. What's important is you get some practice looking at this chart and using it to answer questions. See, we're using our reading skills now. This chapter asks you to actually think in English. That's why I like it. We're not just speaking and writing. Now we're thinking in English, okay? It's a very good exercise. So if you have a brother or a sister or a parent there who can practice this exercise with you, take turns asking and answering questions about every day of the week. Ask what he does on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then mix them up a little bit, okay? Take turns. Ask the question, then answer the question, okay? It's a very good exercise to improve your English skills. If you don't have someone to practice with there, then you can write the answers on a separate sheet of paper. Write down this question. What kind of food does Stanley cook on? And then Tuesday. On Tuesday, he cooks... Greek food. Then ask for Wednesday. Then ask for Thursday. You should write at least six questions for it. Okay? All right. So let's see here. All right. Let's do that now. So pause the video now and either ask and answer questions with your partner or write down the answers if you're alone. 
the question and the answer for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? Pause the video, do that. When you're done, come back to me and we'll go over the answers, okay? So pause the video now and start the work. How much time have I used up? All right, did you pause the video and uh, complete the work? Good, so now I'm gonna go over the answers now. Some of you have sent me the written work you've done after you finished your um, video work, which is fine. Some, some of you, your parents emailed me with the answers you wrote down. But what it told me is that you're not checking your work carefully, not everybody. Some of you need to listen much closer when I tell you the answers and look at what you wrote and think very carefully. Did Mr. Menta say the same thing that I wrote or were there differences? And if there's differences, you probably need to change what you wrote to match what I said, okay? So we're still working now. I know you're done writing, but you're not done working. Now you need to work and listen to what I say, okay? And be careful and make sure what I say matches what you wrote. Check your work. And if you find something you need to change, change it, okay? You can pause the video anytime. Pause the video anytime. You need more time to write down the answers. All right, that's enough preamble. Let's go over the answers. So you should have written, what kind of food does Stanley cook on Tuesday? On Tuesday, he cooks Greek food. Make sure you have that S in cooks, okay? We've spent a lot of time on that in the simple present tense when we talk about something we do every day. If we're talking about he, she, or it, we need that S. And Stanley's he. So cooks, okay? I'm, I'm saying this a few times because I'm not there. I can't read what you wrote right now, okay? I have to trust you to listen to me. I have to trust you to listen to me. I've got to trust you to listen to me, okay? And check your own work, okay? Are you going to do that? All right, Wednesday. What kind of food does Stanley cook on Wednesday? On Wednesday, he cooks... Chinese food. Thursday. What kind of food does Stanley cook on Thursday? On Thursday, he cooks Puerto Rican food. Friday. What kind of food does Stanley cook on Friday? On Friday, he cooks Japanese food. Saturday. What kind of food does Stanley cook on Saturday? On Saturday, he cooks Mexican food. What kind of food does Stanley cook on Sunday? On Sunday, he cooks American food. Now, again, if you have someone to practice with, this is a great speaking exercise. You can go on almost forever because you can say, what kind of food does Stanley cook on Saturday? And the person answers. Then you say, what kind of food does Stanley cook on Monday? And the person answers. Then, what kind of food does Stanley cook on Sunday? And the person answers. Then it's another person's turn. Now you switch jobs. The person who asked the question answered the question. It's a very good speaking exercise. And there's only so much I can do with these classes being here at home to give you the simulation of that. It would have been better if we could have done this in class. Okay. Next. All right. You know... Eh, okay. Next question. Down here. 
Does Stanley cook Greek food on Tuesday? Yes, he does. Okay, so let's look up here. See if I can get everything. There we go. It's all in the shot there. Okay, so does Stanley cook Greek food on Tuesday? Yes, he does. Ask six questions with yes answers. Okay? So, Greek food on Tuesday. So you're asking questions, and we're only practicing the answer yes. So, saying, does Stanley cook Italian food on Monday? Yes, he does. Okay? That's what you're going to do. So I want you to ask, it says six questions. I'm going to make it simple. Ask a question for every type of food. Okay? Start with Italian, then do Greek, Chinese, Puerto Rican, Japanese, Mexican, and American. Okay? Okay. Sorry about the technical problems. I will try to fix that. Okay. So, are we clear on this? Does Stanley cook Greek food on Tuesday? Yes, he does. We're only looking for yes questions. All right, so you pause the video now and either practice with your partner asking and answering these questions or write down the answers on your separate sheet of paper. But remember, they have to be correct. You have to match the day to the kind of food. All right, so you do that. I'm going to take a minute and see if there's a problem with this. Fix. All right. Did you pause the video and answer the questions? I hope so. Okay, so let's go over all of the answers. We'll just do every day of the week. Listen carefully. So for Italian food, you should have said, does Stanley cook Italian food on Monday? Yes, he does. So notice we're saying the word does, not do, does, okay? And we're saying cook, not cooks, cook. There's no S here. Because there's no S when we use it to ask a question. We only use it when we give an answer or a statement. Okay? Number two. Does Stanley cook Greek food on Tuesday? Yes, he does. Number three. Does Stanley cook Chinese food on Wednesday? Yes, he does. Number four. Does Stanley cook Puerto Rican food on Thursday? Yes, he does. <coughs> Number four. Does Stanley cook Japanese food on Friday? Yes, he does. Number five. Does Stanley cook Mexican food on Saturday? Yes, he does. And number ten. Six. Seven? It's one of the numbers. It's a number. It's a number. <laughs> number seven, logically, it would be. Does Stanley cook American food on Sunday? Yes, he does. Okay, so those are our yes questions. So you can probably guess what we're going to practice next, which is going to be our no questions. Okay? So I'll zoom in down here on this down here. All right. So, now we're asking, does Stanley cook Japanese food on Sunday? No, he doesn't. When does he cook Japanese food? He cooks Japanese food on Friday. Okay, so now we're doing two things. And actually, I had been planning to make this video go on longer, but this is pretty long. So I think maybe I'm going to cut off this video when you get to the end of this exercise and we'll do the next page as a separate exercise. Um, so this will be the last for now because this is pretty complicated now. Now we're doing a couple of things at once. First you're asking does 
does he do this? And then we're answering no. And then we're having a whole new question here. When? When does he cook Japanese food? He cooks Japanese food on Friday. So, ask six questions with no answers. So again, here's what we're going to do. Again, if you have a partner to practice with, practice speaking these questions out loud to each other. You can practice with your brother or your sister or your parents or a friend if they're there. Okay? Otherwise, if you're working alone, you're going to write the answers. Okay? So, we're going to ask one question about every kind of food. Okay? And every question is going to have the answer, no. Understand me? You're going to ask a question that you know the answer is no. Okay. So for example, I would say, does Stanley cook Italian food on Friday? We'd say, no, he doesn't. He doesn't cook Italian food on Friday. He cooks Italian food on Monday. Okay. So does Stanley cook Italian food on Friday? No, he doesn't. When does he cook Italian food? He cooks Italian food on Monday. Okay? So start out here. Go do Italian, Greek, Chinese, Puerto Rican, Japanese, Mexican, and American. And ask both those questions. Does Stanley cook that food on a day? Give me a no answer. Answer the question. And then ask, when does he do it? So it should look like this. If you're writing them down, it should look a lot like these conversations. Do that for each kind of food, okay? It should look like this. All right, so pause the video now and either practice speaking or practice writing. And then, when you're done, come back to me, and I will go over the answers. All right. Did you pause the video? Finish the work? Good. So now, let's go over your answers. Listen closely. Remember, we're still working. Checking your work is part of the work, okay? So first question, does Stanley cook Italian food on Friday? No, he doesn't. Next question, when does he cook Italian food? Answer, he cooks with the S cooks Italian food on Monday. Get it? Okay. Next question. Does Stanley cook Greek food on Friday? No. He doesn't. He... Oh. When does he cook Greek food? He cooks Greek food on Tuesday. Okay, you getting this? Number three, Chinese. Does Stanley cook Chinese food on Friday? No, he doesn't. When does he cook Chinese food? He cooks Chinese food on Wednesday. Puerto Rican food. Does Stanley cook Puerto Rican food on Friday? No, he doesn't. When does he cook Puerto Rican food? He cooks Puerto Rican food on Thursday. Japanese food. Does Stanley cook 
Japanese food on Friday? And notice I said cook, not cooks, cook, because it's a question. Does Stanley cook Japanese food on Thursday? No, he doesn't. When does he cook Japanese food? He cooks Japanese food on Friday. <coughs> Mexican. Does Stanley cook Mexican food on Friday? No, he doesn't. He cooks Mexican food on Saturday. Oh, I'm sorry. When does he cook Mexican food? He cooks Mexican food on Saturday. Sunday, or American food, actually. Does Stanley cook American food on Friday? No, he doesn't. When does he cook American food? He cooks American food on Sunday. Okay, there's actually more exercises about Stanley and his international restaurant, but I think you've been working long enough, so I'm going to end this video. You can take a break, and then you can go on to the next one.